Hello friends, we learned different formulae related to motion in the last lesson. We'll take some real life problems here and try to solve them using these formulae. Say a racing car production company claims its car can go from 0 to 108 km per hour in 6 seconds. Can you find the acceleration of the car and how much distance will it travel in that 6 seconds? Which formula to use? Assuming it's a uniform acceleration, the car starts from rest. This means initial velocity u is equal to 0. We have final velocity v is equal to 108 km per hour and it takes only 6 seconds to reach that speed. So t is equal to 6 seconds that we are given here. So we have final velocity v is equal to 108 km per hour. So we will calculate it in meter per second because acceleration is also given in meter per second square. So everything should be in same unit. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and 1 hour is equal to 16 to 60 seconds. So V is equal to 108 into 1000 divided by 3600 which comes out to be 30 meter per second. So we can easily use V is equal to U plus AT to find A. Replacing the values 30 is equal to 0 plus 6a. So a is equal to 30 by 6 which is equal to 5 meter per second square. So This is a huge acceleration from an automobile perspective. And how much distance will it go in this time? Now we have u, v and acceleration a. We need to find s. We can use v square minus u square equal to 2as. So 30 square minus 0 square is equal to 2 into 5 into s. So left hand side 900 and right hand side will be 10s. So s equal to 900 by 10 which is equal to 90 meters. That is the car will go 90 meters in 6 seconds. If we had used the other formula s equal to ut plus half at square u into 2 will be equal to 0 because u equal to 0 as the car is starting from rest. So s equal to 0 plus half at square which is half into 5 into 36 that is equal to 90 meters. Both formulae gave us the same results. Bye bye.